Lord, everyone. Welcome to Tuesday morning prayer and devotion. God bless you each and every one for joining together with me in prayer today and in the study of God's word. We have exciting praise reports to share with you today. Uh, first of all, Christian reports that baby Macy got to go home from the NICU uh, on day 97 and going from two pounds over that period of time up to eight pounds and she wants to thank everyone for all the prayers her family is rejoicing today and we rejoice with you sister Kristen we're so thankful for that good report today evangelist Billy Huey's procedure went well yesterday as we reported to you he had a, a stroke while driving his car over the weekend was airlifted to St. Louis and um, the procedure yesterday uh, they were going to do a stent, and they found out that they did not need to do a stent because the blockage was only at 50%. They don't have to do a stent until the blockage is at 70%. And so he is showing improvement as well. The prayers are working. Let's keep those prayers going this morning. Uh, Sally Waller's daughter, Amy, has shown great improvement over the last 24 hours. She was in a very tenuous uh, situation with these blood clots and um, and an infection uh, getting in her bloodstream and going throughout her body. But she has shown great improvement. We are thankful for that today. We do want to continue praying for Brother Hewitt for his recovery from stroke and, and for uh, Sally's daughter, Amy, uh, for her continued improvement. Others who are in need of healing and restoration due to stroke, include Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington, who has vascular dementia caused by strokes and TIAs, and also has late onset schizophrenia. Jenny Perkins' dad had a stent put in yesterday to bypass his kidneys, and thankfully he has been released from the hospital. He has to go back Friday for them to start breaking up the kidney stones. Jenny asked that we keep him on our prayer list throughout this week that all will go quickly and as smoothly as possible for him. Let's keep praying for Marsha Moore's friend who is home from the hospital but in need of continued prayers. Uh, today, we, today we have a new request from Michelle Walker. She asked that we add, babe, we add baby G's adoption to the prayer list. This is one of those complicated situations in which the child has been with a foster family I guess pretty much since birth due to the parents being deemed unfit and after a full year of no contact with the parents at all at the last minute of the adoption process uh, the birth mother got an attorney and is trying to stall or prevent the adoption and this is very complicated the child does not know the birth parents at all the child has special needs with severe allergies so this is actually a potentially dangerous situation for this baby so we ask for your prayers today for that situation carmen's aunt helen o'neill had surgery yesterday carmen posted that prayer request um, yesterday morning after our prayer session and we thank those of you who took that prayer to heart and we received good reports throughout the day that everything was going well and she was released from the hospital after the surgery so we're praying now for a quick recovery for her we need to pray for continued recovery for these others who have had recent surgeries. Carmen's Uncle Bob, Melanie Whitman, Aubrey Vickers, Rue, Sister Margaret Stepp, Rue, uh, Bob O, Brenda Storm, Sister Cindy, Carson Dowdy, Steve Cummins, Judy Williams, Sister Paula, Bonnie Pulaski's daughter, Patty, all recovering from surgical procedures. Those who are battling cancer need our prayers today. Sylvia Lairmore, Dennis Phelps, Terry Adams, Christy Smith, Kathy Bloss, Jenny Coffey, James Graham's aunt, Lisa Workman, Nathan Van Ingman, Dwayne Lewis, Kathy Burks, Aaron Fain, John Fitzgerald, Marsha Moore's friends' grandparents, Claire, Diane Escher, Alicia Piero, Linda Fox, Michael Boland, David Harris, Philip Randall, Lydia, Dell Bishop, Edie Percival, Ari Bowers, and Brother Kirk. Laura, Jenna, and Tucker are also battling cancer. 
Let's remember these children today, along with baby Elsie and baby Brantley Joe, who have heart issues, Abel Ray with PKU syndrome, Tyler Lopez with spina bifida, Abram Page with GNA01 disorder, Christian Carr and Titus Dornbach, both with juvenile diabetes. Adults who are continuing to battle the effects of diabetes, Tim Workman, Emily Stanley, Cheryl Lachance, Brother Pulliam, J.R. Johnson, Terry Adams' friend, Marsha, and myself. Brenda's friend, Melvin, is needing open heart surgery. Uh, Melvin had a heart attack recently due to kidney failure and is on dialysis currently and cannot have that surgery until the kidneys are stable. Others who have heart issues, Kenny Prenzel, Cheryl Chance, and Pastor Steve Sullivan's father. We're praying for healing of migraines for James Graham, Mara Sullivan, and Beth Wheatley. Mark Godby's daughter suffers with gastroparesis, and Olivia, Terry Adams, and Regina Marlin's granddaughter Aubrey also have stomach issues. Jim Connor is awaiting a kidney transplant. Uh, Aubrey and Loren need healing of their kidneys. Brother Virgil Pullian's brother needs healing of his kidneys as well as cirrhosis of the liver and pancreatitis. Brother Marty DeLott and Brother Riley March need healing of MS. Uh, Beulah Ziegler, Russ, Ron Bryant, and Tim Workman all need healing of Parkinson's. Kristen asks that we pray for Mick, Carol, Jamie, and Dave who all have the COVID virus. We need to continue praying for others with lung issues. Robbie Northrup and Kendra Ortiz, Bonnie Pulaski, Cheryl Chance. Uh, Jamie Jo Shepard needs healing of her liver. Gerald Hudson, Leslie Pride, and Lana Taylor are suffering with dementia. Uh, we have several with back pain today. Britt Moore, James Graham, Terry Adams, Michael Parrott, Carol Dixon's pastor, Pam Pulliam's daughter, Jenny, who has osteoporosis of the spine and hips, and Tammy Lawson. Renee is struggling to remain mobile due to problems with her hips and knees and needs our continued prayers. Rebecca Williams has been having pain in her legs for several weeks now. Jean Brightwell has arthritis and disc inflammation. And other health needs today include Kevin Gossett, Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughter Morgan, Jimmy Holden, Meredith, Chloe Isaac, Bobby Larmy, Regina Bishop, Nicole, Shirley Garner, and Judy Williams' sister Mary, who all are in need of a healing touch this morning. My grandfather, Ellis Marshall, is on hospice care, as are J.B. Goforth and Donna Dalton. Let's keep them in our prayers today, along with the families. Rebecca Rush has an unspoken request. And then in our spiritual needs today, we need to keep praying for Terry Adams' children, for Haley, Evie, Rose, Carl, and Connor for salvation. This is Grace's circle of friends. Sheila Outlaw has been requesting prayer for her spiritual walk. Charles and Amber Gossett need prayer for in spiritual matters. Josh, Jamie, Dan, Dalton, Charles, and Dylan are all needing deliverance from drug addiction and several others who we have not been given the liberty to mention their names, but definitely need deliverance today. Barbara Owens, uh, praying for her spiritual needs today, along with our Job Corps students and alumni, the Mingo Residential Care residents that we're ministering to, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Judy and Mike's family, Mark and Caitlin, Beulah's family, Caroline Sexton's family, Cheryl's family member, Art Chandler, Marsha Moore's children and granddaughter, Josiah, Pam Pulliam's children, and Regina Marlin's family. Family needs that we're praying about today, Annette and Dave, we're praying for continued healing in their marriage. Alicia has some family issues that she needs continued prayer for. Grace's best friend's family, we're believing for healing and reconciliation within that home. Debbie Biddick's family, especially her daughters in need of our prayers today. James and Angela Graham and family, and the Stewart family. And then finally today, I bring to you a couple of needs uh, regarding our North American missionaries. Metro missionary Jerry West, uh, who we partner with, him and his wife Annie, and their children are planning a church in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and uh, they are moving steadily towards their official launch date, but beginning to have monthly gatherings as they prepare uh, for that. 
and they have encountered recent opposition. They thought they had a, a building um, spoken for and were getting ready to sign the contract on that. And they encountered some opposition uh, from one of the board members um, who had to sign off on that. And so um, they're needing to find a permanent place. They did uh, find a place to worship together, uh, a meeting room at the NBC Suites, but they're needing to find now a permanent uh, gathering place. So let's pray that God will work that out for them. Also, missionary sister Sheila Bowens and the church in Owensville, Missouri, is the prayer focus of the Missouri District North American Missions Department this month. She pastors a thriving work in Owensville with a heavy emphasis on reaching those who are battling substance addiction issues as well as women in crisis and has baptized uh, well over uh, two or 300 people, I'm sure, uh, by the reports that I've seen since the beginning of that work and just having tremendous revival. But with revival comes tremendous pressure on the laborers and their families. And so let's pray for strength for her today, direction and wisdom, and let's believe God for continued revival in Owensville. And we're believing for revival wherever that you are watching from this morning. We know that God is at work, God is moving, and we're believing for great and mighty things to transpire even in this uh, next uh, 20 minutes in this prayer gathering. We know that God is going to do great things. I welcome you this morning, Judy and Kristen. Uh, Pam and Virgil, Marcia, we're thankful for each of you today. Mom and Dad with us today, Sherman with us today. What a wonderful prayer team that we have. And if you're out there, I see we're nine strong at the moment on the live feed. And that's a great prayer group. If you're out there, go ahead and uh, throw up those prayer hands or uh, give us a wave or do something. Hit the like or love button so that we know that you're there. And that's how we can track who's actually a part of our morning prayer gathering live. Now, after we go off the air, these videos are shared by uh, different ones of you and myself. And then we see other people uh, being blessed by these prayer videos uh, throughout the day and even, uh, and even into uh, days later. So let's keep up the good work today. And uh, prayer is work, but it is godly work. And I thank you for your dedication this morning and being a part of what God is doing through our prayers. I want to read to you from Psalms, the fourth chapter today. Psalms, the fourth chapter. This is a Psalm of David. And he said, Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in darkness. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will ye love vanity and seek after leasing? Selah. But know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Selah. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart more than in the time that their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down to sleep or lay me down in peace and sleep. For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. What a wonderful passage of scripture that we could reflect on this morning. And in fact, David admonished us a couple of times in that passage to stop and reflect. That's what the word see law means, to pause, to stop and think about it, to absorb what has just been said. One of the greatest blessings of being a Christian, being a servant of the Lord, is the opportunity to be a witness for him. We are called to serve as his representatives his ambassadors, we are extensions of him. And as his witnesses, we must remember that we testify of him and his attributes. What's even better is that to be an effective witness, we need only to point to him. 
our inadequacies and our shortcomings do not limit how great God is. In Psalm 4 that we just read, David pointed to God's abilities instead of his own abilities. He declared in verse 1 that Jehovah rules in righteousness and mercy. And he concluded the psalm with the assurance that God will bring light and gladness. He will bring peace and safety. Sometimes we get bogged down when we start thinking that our own abilities or goodness will be the light that shines outward. And we focus so much on ourselves um, in the idea of being a witness. But we have to realize that it is his goodness and his abilities that shine through us. We are simply the vessel. We are simply a conduit. We are jars of clay uh, that are fractured, as Paul said. And, um, and we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not of us. So remember that today. We testify of him, not of ourselves. We are called to be his witnesses, and we must always point to the king so that our testimonies will give him glory. The moment that we begin to point to ourselves and our own accomplishments, then we set ourselves up for a shame and for a fall because you know what? None of us are perfect, and there's going to be plenty of opportunities to, for people to assault our witness, our character flaws, our imperfections. But if we point them to Jesus, if we point them to the Lord, he is perfect in every way, and there is no fault that they will ever be able to find truthfully in him. So let's remember today to keep our eyes upon Jesus, and if we'll keep our eyes upon Jesus, we can direct the world's eyes toward him when they have a need. I can't heal anybody. I can't save anybody, but I know who, the one who can, and I point you to him today. Amen. He is able to move in whatever need that you have, and we're going to give those needs to him today. Let's point the world to our Savior right now. Lord, we worship you. We lift up your name. We are your witnesses. We are your people. We are the sheep of your pasture. Lord, everything that we are depends upon you. Every success, Lord, the glory belongs to you because you are the one that does the works in us. And we thank you for what you're doing. We thank you for these reports of healing this morning. We thank you for these victories today that we're celebrating with our prayer team. And we believe, God, that you're going to continue to move in every situation. We submit our will to your will this morning, Lord. We just ask, God, that you would flow through us, that you would cleanse us and uh, clean us out of any gunk or anything that would hinder us today from being the vessels that you can flow through. We want to be those uh, vessels of, of righteousness. We want to be those vessels of your mercy, vessels of your grace, that the oil of your spirit, the oil of gladness could flow through us this morning, Lord, to minister to the needs of others. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Have your way in me today. Help me to remember, God, this ministry that I've received of the Lord. Oh, help me to remember today, God, Lord, your calling and, and your plan for us to be witnesses for you. And we're being used of you even now as we pray these prayers. We believe, God, for Sally's daughter, Amy, Lord, for healing and deliverance today. We believe for Evangelist Billy Huey for full recovery from stroke, that his speech will not be impeded. Lord, that his, uh, that his uh, memories and his uh, cognitive function would be restored completely in the name of Jesus. Lord, reach down and touch your servant today, and we give you praise and glory for it. We pray for Carmen's cousins, Kelly and Shannon, for Sheila and for Tina's mother, who are needing recovery from stroke as well. We pray for Sister Jenny Perkins' dad today, God, that all will go well this week, that they'll be able to break up of these stones, that he will be able to get past this very quickly and as smoothly as possible. In Jesus' name, we pray for Marcia's friend, Lord, for your continued touch upon her and our, on her family today. Lord, that they would be in the church, that they would receive everything that they need, that somehow through this situation, these connections that have been made, Lord, that 
that they would turn to you. We pray for baby G's adoption, Lord. We pray that uh, all opposition and anything that's adverse to this child's health and well-being would be taken out of the way. Lord, you said to permit the children to come to you. We bring this child to you today. We believe, God, for there to be a change in this situation. In the name of Jesus, we pray for Carmen's Aunt Helen, believing, Lord, for full recovery, quick recovery from this surgery that she had yesterday. We continue to pray for Sister Steph, for Carmen's Uncle Bob, for Sister Whitman, for Aubrey and Rue, and for Bob O, for Brenda's sister Cindy. We pray for Carson Dowdy and Steve Cummins today, for Judy Williams' sister Paula, for Bonnie's daughter Patty today. We're believing for each one of them, Lord, to experience full recovery in Jesus' name. We believe for each one that's battling cancer this morning. Reach down right now, Lord, and minister healing to Sylvia and Dennis, to Terry's friend, to Christy Smith and Kathy Bloss. We pray for Lisa Workman and Jenny Coffey, for James Graham's aunt, for Nathan Van Ingman, for Dwayne Lewis and Kathy Burks. We believe for healing for Aaron Payne and John Fitzgerald, for Marcia's friends, grandparents, for Diane Escher and for Claire, for Alicia Piero and Linda Fox, for Michael Bolin and David Harris and Philip Randall and Lydia. Lord, there's no situation that is too hard for you. You're the healer of every disease. You're the healer of every cancer today, God. We believe for your touch right now, for Del Bishop, for Edie Percival, for Ari Bowers, and for Brother Kirk. We believe for Lorelei and Jenna and Tucker, these children who've been battling cancer for so long. God, we believe for healing for them. We trust in your divine intervention today. God, we know that you're able. We give you the glory and the praise, Lord, for that which you are doing right now. Hallelujah. We pray for baby Elsie and baby Brantley Joe, believing for healing of their heart issues, believing for healing of PKU syndrome for Abel today, for Tano Lopez, for healing of spina bifida, for Abram Page with GNA01 disorder. We pray for Christian Carr and for Titus Dornbach today for healing of juvenile diabetes. For these adults who are dealing with diabetes today, reach down and touch them, Lord. We know that you are well able. Hallelujah. We trust in you today. We believe for Brenda's friend Melvin to be able to have the open heart surgery that's required. We pray that the kidneys would be stable enough that he would be able to have the surgery. We pray for Pastor Steve Sullivan's father, for Cheryl and for Kenny, Lord, for their heart issues today. We pray for Sister Beth Wheatley. We pray for James Graham and Mara Sullivan, Lord. Lord, that they would have victory over these migraine headaches. We pray for those dealing with stomach issues this morning. Touch Olivia, touch Pastor Godby's daughter and Sister Terry Adams. We pray for Regina's granddaughter, Aubrey. Lord, minister to them right now. Those with kidney issues, Jim Connor and Aubrey and Loren, Brother Pulliam's brother. We believe for healing of his kidneys and healing of cirrhosis of the liver and pancreatitis today. We pray for Brother March and Brother DeLott for healing of MS, for Tim Workman and Russ, for my dad, for my mother-in-law, believing for healing of Parkinson's this morning in Jesus' mighty name. We believe, God, for those who are battling COVID, Lord, that this pandemic will be put behind us. We believe for Mick and for Carol, for Jamie and Dave today to recover quickly and fully. We pray, Lord, for those that are dealing with other lung and respiratory issues, we pray you would touch Kendra and Robbie today, Bonnie and Cheryl. We believe, God, for healing of the liver for Jamie Joe. Lord, you're able to do anything today. We pray for those suffering with dementia. Touch Lana and Leslie and Gerald right now. Those who are experiencing back pain, those who have problems with their joints, with their spine, with their knees, with their legs and their shoulder joints, Lord, their wrist joints, wherever the pain is emanating from today. We come against that pain in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we believe for healing right now for Renee and Rebecca, for Jean Brightwell in Jesus' name, for Britt Moore and James Graham, for Michael Parrott and Terry Adams, for Sister Carol's pastor, for Pam's daughter Jenny, and for Tammy Lawson. We believe for these others with health needs today. 
Lord, touch Kevin Gossett right now. Touch Chloe Isaac, Lord. You know their needs today. You're able, Lord, to take care of it. We pray you would give them peace and strength right now. Hallelujah, until the answer comes. We pray for Brother and Sister Pulliam's granddaughter, Morgan. We pray for Meredith today, for Bobby Larmy and Jimmy Holden, for Regina Bishop and Nicole, for Shirley Garner and for Judy's sister, Mary, today, that they would receive their healing. We believe today, God, that you're moving in our families. We pray, God, for those who are on hospice care right now and for their families, Lord, that your peace and comfort would be with them for Donna Dalton and J.B. Goforth, for my grandfather, Ellis Marshall, today, God. We believe for your touch upon them. We pray for Sister Rebecca Rush today, Lord, for her unspoken need. You know all about it today, God. We believe for that situation. Lord, for each of these spiritual needs today that we've called before uh, this prayer team today, you've heard every name that's been called. You know all about their situation. You know the ins and the outs, our, our down sittings and our uprisings. God, there's nothing that escapes your attention. And we pray you would move in these needs today. Hallelujah. You see the needs in our families today, Lord. You see the needs, God, of those who have backslidden, those who have fallen away, that they would be restored, God. And you're reaching to them this morning with your unfailing love and mercy and grace. We pray that they would receive, Lord, your help today, that their eyes would be redirected toward you. We pray, Lord, for the Stewart family and for the Graham family, for the Biddick family today. We pray for Grace's best friend's family and for Annette and Dave, for Alicia. Lord, we pray, God, for those who are working to plant churches. We thank you, God, for those that are carrying the gospel into new areas and are pioneering new works. We pray for our Metro missionaries, Jerry and Annie West today, and for their children, that you would give them strength, that you would give them wisdom and direction and open doors, Lord. We pray, God, that you would help them to find this uh, the right location for their weekly services. We believe, God, that you're going to quell all the opposition, that you're going to give them the advantage in Jesus' name. We pray for Sister Sheila Bowens and the church in Owensville today. We believe, God, that you're doing a great work through her. We see the results, of, Lord, that she's getting there. Hallelujah. We pray, God, that you would just strengthen her in her vision and her burden and in her passion. Lord, that nothing would be able to destroy the work, Lord, that she's doing there. We believe, God, for each one that's a result of that ministry that's been baptized in your name and filled with your spirit. And, Lord, who are struggling to overcome the addictions in their lives. We believe, God, Lord, for their spiritual maturity today. And we give you praise for what you're doing there through Sister Bowens. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for these things. We thank you for hearing our request today. We thank you, Lord, for answering in these situations. And we know, God, that your answer is the right answer and the perfect answer every time. And we give you the glory and the praise for it today. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for praying with me. Let's do this again tomorrow morning. It'll already be the middle of our work week. And let's give that day to the Lord and believe for great things to happen through our prayers. I'll see you right back here tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m.